Hi everyone, my name is Tasia and welcome back to my podcast, Spider Relax. I tell exciting stories from many Indian epics, so stay curious and trek beyond. Today, I'll be talking about the Pandavas and Kauravas' childhood. The story is called Kauravas and Pandavas, Their Childhood Stories. These stories will definitely keep you on the edge of your seat. Onwards! When Kunti brought her sons, the Pandavas, back to the kingdom of Hastinapur, she expected a warm welcome. But she and her Pandavas only got a warm welcome from the elders. From the moment the Kauravas saw the Pandavas, they hated them. And because of the way the Kauravas treated them throughout their childhood, the Pandavas too hated them back. All except Yudhishthir and Yuyutsu, Dhritarashtra's first yet unsung son. Yutsu, even as a child, always followed dharma. But the Kauravas and Pandavas, even as kids, always fought in such vulgar ways. Here's one of their childhood stories. And more than anyone else, Bhima and Duryodhan hated each other so badly. One time, Duryodhan decided that he wanted to get rid of Bhima once and for all. So he thought of a plan. First, Duryodhan made some pongal which is basically a gruel that would make Bhima go to sleep for a long time. He called Bhima and told him that he had a surprise for him. He then gave the pongal, which Bhima ate and immediately slept. And after he was asleep, Duryodhan then tied him up, dragged Bhima to the Ganga river and threw him in. Thinking he died, Duryodhan then went out to celebrate. But the other Pandavas were getting worried. Their brother had suddenly disappeared. They asked all the Kauravas where Bhima went, and the ones who saw what happened told the Pandavas the story. The Pandavas quickly ran to the banks of the Ganga. But by then, Bhima had sunk to the bottom of the river into the kingdom of Naga. And when he regained consciousness, he snapped the ropes that bound him and saw snakes everywhere. The snakes began attacking him, so he killed each one. One of the few snakes that fled Pima had rushed to Vasuki, the Naga king, and asked him to see who it was. One of the men Vasuki went with was Kunti's father's grandfather, Ariyaka. He received much hospitality, but then after a day, Pima realized that his mother and his brothers must be worried. So he ascended through the waters, guided by the Nagas, and ran home to tell his family he was okay. His family was very much happy to see him alive, but Duryodhan, on the other hand, boiled with anger. That's it for this episode, but next week, I have another childhood story of the Pandavas and Kauravas coming up. Another story where another character comes into play. Don't forget to hit that post notifications bell and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. See you next time, above and beyond.